TV7 Israel News is made possible thanks to your generous donations. Shalom, good evening. This is TV7 Israel News broadcast to you from Jerusalem and in today's top stories. Jerusalem is stepping up efforts to bring the spread of the corona contagion under control as the number of newly confirmed cases somewhat diminishes. A Hong Kong study has ranked the state of Israel at the top of an international index scale vis-a-vis -vis the general public safety during these days of global crisis. Israel's top defense official insists that future humanitarian assistance to the jihadist-controlled Gaza Strip must be linked with the humanitarian needs of the Jewish state, which includes Jerusalem's demanded return of two Israeli soldiers that were killed in action during the 2014 Gaza conflict. Jerusalem is stepping up efforts to bring the spread of the corona contagion under control. The Israeli Health Ministry revealed that 620 newly confirmed cases have been detected since the day prior to a total of 6,211 infected Israelis, of whom 107 individuals are classified in critical condition. And while the rise of newly affected Israelis is marginally lower than the preceding day, I am sad to report that there is a spike in the number of Israeli victims that succumbed to the contagion, with authorities confirming the corona-related death toll at 33 as of 2 o'clock this afternoon, which is an increase of 12 fatalities compared to the previous day. In contrast, I'm glad to report that there has been also a spike in the number of individuals that have been healed from the coronavirus. The number of Israelis that were cured from the potentially deadly contagion rose to 289 people, compared to the verified 226 individuals that were classified as healed the previous day. Meanwhile in Jerusalem, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu held a televised address to the nation, during which he announced a series of new measures to be enacted immediately as part of the country's relentless battle against the spread of the corona contagion. In his opening remarks, Netanyahu revealed that he held a phone conversation with his Italian counterpart, Giuseppe Conte, who provided the Israeli leader with vital advice. אנחנו עדיין בעיצומו של צונאמי בינלאומי. מגפת הקורונה שוטפת בעוצמה יבשות ומדינות כמעט את כל מדינות העולם. זוהי סערה אדירה. העולם נמצא בחזית אחת גדולה. שוחחתי שוב לפני ימים אחדים עם ידידי ראש ממשלת איטליה ג'וזפה קונטה. שמעתי ממנו על הטרגדיה הנוראה שפוקדת את בני ארצו. אלפים מתו בשבועות האחרונים. ושאלתי אותו, ג'וזפה, מה הלקח שלך מכל זה? והוא השיב לי, ביבי, תעשו את הדברים הקשים מוקדם, מוקדם ולא מאוחר. And while Netanyahu cited a Hong Kong study that ranked the Jewish state at the top of an international index scale vis-a-vis -vis general public safety during these days of global crisis, the Israeli leader underscored that now is not the time to fall into a trap of complacency, but rather to the contrary. Today we are standing in the middle of the war. We have the opportunity to continue to move forward with the common countries שנראה שבלמו את הקורונה, אבל אנחנו עלולים חלילה להידרדר מטה עם אותן מדינות שיש בהן כבר אלפי מתים ביממה האחרונה בניו יורק מישהו מת כל ארבע דקות בספרד המצב דומה בריטניה, הולנד ומדינות מתקדמות אחרות מנהלות מאבק נואש לא להגיע לשם שמענו אמש את הנשיא טראמפ בתחזית שלפיה בין 100,000 ל-250,000 בני אדם עלולים למות בשבועות הקרובים מקורונה בארצות הברית. ואני רוצה שתדעו, זוהי התחזית המקלה. רק כדי שנבין, זה שווה ערך ל-5,000 מתים בישראל. אנחנו עושים הכל, הכל, כדי לא להגיע לשם. As part of Israel's efforts to avoid facing the deadly consequences of delayed response, 
The Prime Minister announced Jerusalem's decision to immediately blockade the predominantly ultra-Orthodox city of Nebrak, where the spread of the contagion is evidently out of control. <laughs> אני רוצה להדגיש מיד ביחס לבני ברק ולכל מקום שאנחנו נהדק את הגבלות התנועה אליו. אנחנו נדאג לכל אחד למחסורו. In contrast to previous announcements, which consequently prompted the general Israeli public's outcry over the refusal of the ultra-Orthodox community to comply with the government's enacted corona-related restrictions, Prime Minister Netanyahu revealed that while a very positive change was recorded, regrettably, the compliance of the ultra-Orthodox public in some areas has seemingly come too late. And while the government in Jerusalem is forced to deal with some less adherent communities exclusively, from today onward the general Israeli population has been instructed to wear face masks at all times when in public. <laughs> לחבוש מסכות במרחב הציבורי. אם אין ברשותכם מסכה, ישתמשו בצעיף או בכל כיסוי פנים אחר שיצמצם את הפצת הנגיף לאחרים. In addition to the newly enacted measure, Premier Netanyahu also announced that any Israeli returning home from abroad will now be forced to spend the already mandatory two weeks quarantine in government designated hotels. כל ישראלי ששב ארצה ייכנס מחר לבידוד במלונית. אנחנו מאפשרים לכל ישראלי לחזור הביתה. אבל בו בזמן אנחנו עושים את מה שדרוש כדי לשמור על חיי אזרחי ישראל, ואנחנו משקיעים בזה משאבים רבים. In contrast to the newly imposed restrictions, the Israeli leader also announced a series of one-time grants that will be distributed by the government to every Israeli family with children, as well as for senior citizens and people that are classified as handicapped. I decided, together with the Prime Minister, to give a special grant for the Pesach. Every family with children will get 500 shekels for each child. כולל הילד הרביעי עד הילד הרביעי, כמובן עד גיל 18. כל קשיש יקבל תוספת לקצבה החופשי, החודשית של 500 שקל. המענקים ייכנסו ישירות לבנק, בלי טפסים, בלי בירוקרטיה, ישר לחשבון הבנק. The Premier also revealed that while the Israeli economy sustained a critical blow during these times of crisis, it remains powerful, consequently allowing Jerusalem to provide those financial assistance packages to all of the people of Israel. Turning now to the central city of Tel Aviv, where Defense Minister Naftali Bennett insisted that Israel's future humanitarian assistance to the jihadist-controlled Gaza Strip must be linked with the humanitarian needs of the Jewish state, which includes Jerusalem's demanded return of two Israeli soldiers that were killed in action during the 2014 Gaza conflict. When גם לישראל יש צרכים הומניטריים ועיקרם השבת החללים ואני חושב שאנחנו צריכים להיכנס לדיאלוג רחב על הצרכים ההומניטריים של עזה ושלנו לא יהיה נכון לנתק את הדברים It is important to know that while historically the defense minister reserves the power to decide over Israeli conditions for possible humanitarian assistance to the Gaza Strip among other territories under the current interim government in Jerusalem, the defense minister does not have the legal power to decide on such crucial matters and is subject to the prime minister's discretion, who maintains the final say. And while Israel has failed all efforts to retrieve the bodies of its slain soldiers, Hadar Goldin and Oron Shaul, who remain in Hamas custody to date, Jerusalem has donated the Gaza Strip with thousands of test kits and other medical equipment as part of a global effort to thwart the coronavirus from spreading uncontrollably in the jihadist plague territory. Thank you for watching us. I would like to encourage you to join myself and the team here in Jerusalem by continuing to pray for the peace of Jerusalem, the peace and salvation of Israel, as well as for all those who have been impacted by this corona contagion around the world. I'm Jonathan Hassan, have a Erev Tov, and we will see you again tomorrow at the same time.